If only on this your day you had known the path for peace, but you have failed to see it. The days will come when your enemies build ramparts to surround you and hem you in, pressing hard from every side. And within these walls they will destroy you. You and your children. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. understand that many have already hailed him as king. A king? <laughs> a king of beggars, whores, and thieves. We've seen his like before. They come, they make their claims, they go. They're forgotten. Don't be blind. His following is growing by the day. The people admire him. And think he is a king. Let me give you a warning. If this man should threaten the peace further, I shall look to you. Perhaps he's right. It's time we confronted the Galilean. And as the hypocritical section of the scribes and the Pharisees came increasingly under his attack, so his following among the Jews grew. But so did the opposition from those he condemned. It's very little. Only a mite. Can't you give more? I tell you! That this poor widow put in more than all the others. For the others offered their gifts from what they had to spare of their riches. But she, poor as she is, put in all the living that she had. Tell us, what right do you have to say these things? Who gave you such right? Now let me ask you a question. Tell me, did John's right to baptize come from God or from man? What shall we say? If we were to say from God, he will say, why then? Don't you believe, John? But if we say from man, this whole crowd here will stone us. They're all convinced that John was a prophet. We don't know where it came from. Neither will I tell you then by what right I do these things. There was once a man who planted a vineyard, rented it out to tenants, and then left home for a long time. When the time came to gather the grapes, he sent a slave to the tenants to receive from them his share of the harvest. But the tenants beat the slave and sent him back without a thing. So he sent another slave. But the tenants beat him too, 
treated him shamefully and sent him back without a thing. Then he sent a third slave. But the tenants wounded him too and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said to himself, what shall I do? I will send my own dear son. Surely they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him coming, they said to one another, this is the owner's son. Let's kill him and his property will be ours. What happened? Tell us more. Then. And so they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants? He will come and kill those men and give the vineyard over to other tenants. What then does this scripture mean? The stone which the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. Everyone who falls on that stone will be cut to pieces. And if that stone falls on someone, it will crush him to dust. Teach you, we know that what you say and teach is right. We know that you pay no attention to man's status, but to teach the truth about God's will for man. Tell us, is it against our law for us to pay taxes to the Roman Emperor or not? Careful, Lord! He'll try and trick you! Show me a silver coin. Whose face and name are these on it? Caesar! Then render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Now the festival of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And Jesus sent Simon, Peter and John ahead to prepare the Passover meal. so much to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never eat it until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth fruit from the vine. Take this and share it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man must die as God has determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. It can't be. 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 Not possible. Name the traitor, Lord. The greatest one among you must be like the youngest. And the leader must be like the servant. <laughs> 